Congrats, your, your one-man show, The New One, had a great run on Broadway, my friend. Uh, and now you're taking this all over the country. Well, yeah. The, well, you know how show business works, Jimmy, is if you have a show off Broadway mm -hmm. and it goes well, maybe it moves to Broadway. And then if it goes well, you go to Charlotte. <laughs> Absolutely. That's... Well, you first stop. You, right? Isn't that's that... It, if you keep your head down and keep if working you, hard. If you stay, if you stay focused, <laughs> you uh, end up in Charlotte. And I think I might just retire there. Yeah. I might get a farm and sort of quit. And uh, who knows? <laughs> well, you're starting in D.C. is your first. D.C. Which is, is where uh, you just got started. That was where yeah. you got started in your comedy career. I did. I was like a door person at the Washington, D.C. Improv. And mm -hmm. uh, I went to Georgetown. I, I, did they let you go I, on stage? Well, you know, yeah, eventually... Uh, I was, you know, when I was at Georgetown, and now, well, you know, like, there's a lot of comedians who have since come from Georgetown, Mul John Mulaney, Nick Kroll, Jacqueline Novak, who has an off-Broadway show that's wonderful right now. Uh, uh, but uh, at the time, I didn't know anyone who was a comedian, and I went to the alumni house when I was in college, and I wrote into the, the computer database, stand-up comedian, and there was one result. And it was Jim Gaffigan. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. See, I didn't know he was from that. So, yeah, he went to Georgetown. And so I just called him uh, on his landline. <laughs> Do you remember these landlines from the 1990s? <laughs> yeah, so of course. They had the, so his the, phone the, number's there? Yeah. So uh, his phone number's there, and I call, you remember long distance? <laughs> yes, you remember of long distance phone calls? Absolutely. So I call long distance, and he's like, hello? And I'm like, hey. I'm like, this is Mike Perbiglia, I'm a college student. My voice hadn't changed. Oh, okay, yes, yeah, you have a very high 20, voice. Okay, yeah, old. yeah. And he goes, uh, he goes, well, have you ever, and I was like, I want to be a comedian. He's like, if you're ever in New York, like, I'll, you know, we can get lunch or something. And I go, I'm coming next week. I had no plans to come next week. No. So I made, I just invented a trip. I took a bus to New York City. To meet Jim Gaffigan. <laughs> no, I love this story. Someone audibly, did... someone audibly just goes, Wow. <laughs> I know, it was really delusional. I, I'm convinced. We've talked about this. Sleepwalk with me. My movie's a bit about this. I think to be a comedian, you have to be delusional. You have to convince yourself it's, it's going well when it's not going well. <laughs> Otherwise, you wouldn't get on stage again. And so the, the, even calling Jim Gaffigan was like a crazy thing to do. But I went to New York. We met at Patsy's Pizzeria on the Upper West Side. <laughs> we, we were meeting at 1 o'clock. He didn't show up. <laughs> and it was 2 o'clock. He didn't show up. And it was 3 o'clock, and I was like, I got nowhere to go. <laughs> like, I literally came here for this. And then he shows up, and he goes, you're still here? <laughs> wow. I go, yeah, I got nowhere to be. And he gave me advice that ended up being the best advice I've ever heard uh, given to a comedian. He said, uh, he said, don't move to New York until you're good. <laughs> and uh, and I, I, I didn't follow that advice. <laughs> I just moved to New York and I was terrible. Wow. But I give that advice to other people yeah. so that they also won't take it. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. Uh, that's a cool story about Gaffigan. Isn't that funny? I did not know that. Yeah. Uh, what, what... I should have run that by him first. <laughs> He'll be fine. He's going to watch us tonight. And... like, what? I don't remember that. I don't think that happens. Yeah. Uh -huh. On and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.